Good afternoon. My name is Rebecca, and I'm going to talk about food, uh, healthy food for a long life. Okay, the difference between a person that's 20 pounds overweight and, and in good weight would be the fact that the one is 20 pounds overweight because they're eating most refined foods. 45% of calories from fat, 42 teaspoons sugar intake daily, powerful appetite stimulant, four times more heart attacks, four times more sugar diabetes, more arthritis, more sleep disorder, more depression, more cancer, more doctor's visits, more allergies, requires 100 miles of new blood vessels per pound of fat, more foot problems, more gout, shorter life expectancy. Now, the one that's in perfect uh, condition, perfect shape, has little or no fat, about 10%, 15% fat in their body. They eat fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. That's nuts, peanuts, cashews, walnuts. Benefits of that is more self-acceptance, fewer accidents, longer average lifespan, high energy levels, increased vitality, vitality in men. You can eat your way to a healthy life. This was reproduced and reprinted with permission of Vita Mix Corporation. And that looks like that. I personally started uh, a vegan a year ago, and um, I'm doing, trying to do my best. It's been a hard, long road, but it pays off. You feel better in the long run. I have uh, some herbs to help with energy. We have dandelion root. That herb is a health boost to start your day. It cleanses the liver and rids the body of toxins. Also, we have the herb red clover. That, that is an excellent blood purifier. It cleanses the lymphatic system, energy booster. And with that, you would take one and a half tablespoons of the herb to every eight ounce of water and make a, a hot tea. Ginger, vitality and chancing, oxidant, oxidant, <laughs> antioxidant, I know that word, antioxidant, diuretic, cardiotonic, and a strong anti-inflammatory. We have ginseng. This, it's both good for physical and mentally, mental for the body, extreme stress or fatigue, for extreme stress or fatigue. It's an enchanting herb. It increases the immune system, reduces bad cholesterol. And we have peppermint, peppermint, uh, peppermint, peppermint tea, peppermint oil. Uh, it's inflammatory properties. It's for irritable syndrome, anti-inflammatory, pain reliever, uh, skin irritation, and sore muscles. It comes in a capsule, a tea, or essential oil. That's number three. And number four, we have health benefits or uh, of horseradish. This is from Very Well Health Supplements. The, the herbs that I told you is from Health Line and Nutrition, Herbs for Energy. Okay, health radish. It's good for... Uh, manganese, energy producing, vitamin C, fight infections, eliminates cancer causing free radicals, nervous system, vitamin B9, minerals. Also, it's good uh, regulatory um, for your nervous system that has to do when you get older, like me, for Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. It's a vitamin B complex. 
Horseradish is also a high content of magnesium. And it helps you sleep. It's a good, it's good for uh, a long night's sleep instead of waking up, you know, throughout the night. And it's also good for respiratory conditions. It's uh, um, due to cold and allergies. It's uh, So that's good for the immune system, urinary, urinary tract infection, sinus pain, digestive, and good uh, teeth health. Then I have five, I have, oh, I have herbs to help with common colds. That's also with Healthline Health Home Remedies. There might be a different Healthline. One's Home rem Remedy, the other one's Supplements. Could be the same. This is number five. Okay, this is um, for the common cold. The National Center for Health Statistics reports that nearly four out of ten adults have used some form of alternate remedies to fight illnesses. Okay, we have number one, echinacea, astragalus, astragalus, elderberry. It targets A and B influenza. Astragalus uh, is boosts immune system, fights the virus and the bacteria. Echinacea does the blood, stimulates the blood, white blood cells, uh, risk of respiratory affection during the cold and flu seasons. Uh, we have garlic boosts the immune system also. Licorice root is good for viruses and act activates wild blood. Uh, what does that say? It contains a polysaturide ingredients that increases the body's production of interferon and activates wild blood cells. It also um, it also targets those those blood cells. We have St. John Warts. St. John Warts can it, it, it exhibit influenza A and para influenza virus. We have lom lomatium. And lomatium fights against bacteria and viral infections. We have stinging nettle. Nettle contains high amounts of carotenoids, carotenoids, and flavonoids, flavonoids, flavonoids that helps easy allergies. Lemon balm or Melissa oil has antiviral effects against para influenza and other bacteria infections. And then we have basil. Basil is good. Black pepper, horseradish. Lemongrass, licorice root, and that would be good for the common colds or to prevent the colds from even coming on. This is number six. We have uh, the benefits of chamomile. Chamomile. Chamomile, excuse me. Okay, it's a high source of antioxidants. It's immune function, low rates of blood disorder, reduced pain and swelling in healthier hair, nails, teeth and eyes, fights anxiety and depression, and it's, it comes in a tea, improves digestive system. I think it also comes in a capsule form. Has strong anti-inflammatory and pain-reducing abilities. It may help fight cancer, relieves congestion, promotes skin health. Keep gums and teeth healthy, teeth healthy, may improve heart health. Now I have a, a good body wash that contains uh, chamomile instead of, of a dry, it's a, it, you might want to try it. It's a homemade body wash. And um, if you have a pen or paper, it's one cup of water, I have a fourth cup of honey, two thirds cup liquid castor, castor soap, 30 drops lavender oil, chamomile, or geranium essential oil, one teaspoon vitamin E, two teaspoons jo jojoba oil, and a plastic lotion dispenser or glass bottle with dispenser. Mix ingredients until smooth 
and store in an eight ounce plastic bottle. And that should really, that should make your skin feel much better in our, as our weather becomes worse, irritated, and we get all these new uh, infections and diseases running around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, number seven is called bladder rack, B-L-A-D-D-E-R-W-R-A-C-K. It's, I got that from the web, M-D. It's uh, I-N-G-R-E-D-I-E-N-T-M-O-N-O-726. This was found in the early 1800s. It's, um, all right, this is probably backwards, so I'll read it. Um, Batarac is one of the highest iodine contain, containing sea vegetables known. Now, it relieves thyroid health. It helps thyroids. And it's good for thyroid health. It helps you prevent from being sluggish. And it um, helps you to lose weight for the iodine that's in it. It says it keeps iodine levels up will go a long way to ensure a healthy thyroid remains that way. Okay, so the iodine found in black rack is a highly bioavailable form. Okay, bladder, black, bladder rack is also a rich source of Fucolexthin, F-U-C-O-X-A-N-T-H-I-N, Fucolexthin, a carotenoid that is currently being studied for its potential fat burning effects. Now the appearance in many anti-cellulite creams, cellulite is caused by fluid trapped between fat cells beneath the skin. Its diuretic qualities help to rid the body of the fluid built up that produces cellulite. And that that's good. I really got to get some of this. Uh, and that's bladder rack. Bladder rack is not only rich in beta carotene, plant-based vitamin, it contains the nutrients fucoxthin and fuco Dan, Danwich. Okay, so it also reduces extraneous blood vessel growth. So you got two things this is really good at is with the the water that's produced with the fat to make cellulite is anti cellulite, and it, you can make cream from it, and also. Where, did it, where was I? Okay, here. The, the blood vessels in your legs. And and mind you, as you get older, and I started, my blood vessels started coming when I was, I guess, 35 or so. But as you get older, your blood vessels, if they get big, then that what starts you to have muscle spasms in your legs. Then you got another problem. Okay, well, this is also... Good. It says it's found help resist premature cell aging and death for your cells. It fights against premature cells aging and uh, the cells that are dead. I didn't. I couldn't find anything for um, COVID because that's what we're all fighting now. But as I know, I can always give you my remedy. From Rebecca Jacobs, Colorado Christian University student. And if you go out in a lot of crowd and, you know, you don't feel good about it, come home. Keep oranges, which I have over there. And this little thing right here is good. You squeeze them out and take the peel. And, the uh, you know, you put the juice in a, a jar or what have you and drink it. But you take the peels and throw them in a big pot of water and just boil them and let them steam. When they start steaming, you hold your face over the pot and you just breathe in. If you could do it for 10 or 15 minutes, 
that will guarantee kill every infection you think you might have gotten when you went out. All right. Thank you. And you guys have happy holidays. God bless you.